Yo, I'm seeing all red Got my vision blurry from the anger in my head I'll never be second best They gon' learn today what it feels to regret You can't stop me now The demons tear me now What is going on guys? Local Joe here. Welcome to night or day one, night one of the go home shows before the Asylum pay-per-view, which is this Sunday. This is your opening contest scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring first, Sean Danielson. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yo, what up, Mr. Big? Try to find my phone charger for a second. And his opponent. He is Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze, who made his return a couple weeks ago. Everywhere in place, everyone loves the gorgeous face. You can't deny my beauty shot. I'm everything that you are not. Part man, but old model. Am I what you want? Am I who you follow? Don't try to fight it. You can't deny this is perfection. Certified. Piercing eyes and a chiseled jaw molded by the gods without a flaw. We are underway. Sean Danielson, who's going to be a part of the men's asylum match happening this Sunday at the Asylum pay per view. Crowd already loving this match. Basement drop kick connects. And right into the arm bar. Oh, he's going for like a looked like a Superman punch. 
But right now, Sean Danielson dominating this match. Oh, Tyler Breeze should have stayed in the ring. Oh, nice. Transition into a single leg Boston Crab. Tilt the World DDT. It's only a one count. Oh, snap German suplex into a pin. Oh, Tyler agrees with that springboard tornado DDT. Another Tilt the World DDT. And now the beauty shot connects. One, two. Sorry about that, I had to check on something real quick. And, oh, head scissors take down. And now Sean looking for the finish. Oh, hip toss DDT. Tyler Breeze with the comeback combo. Woo. Great opening contest so far. Sean thought he was safe on the outside, but it's false count anywhere. Blade Basement Drop Kick. Okay. 
Oh, this time Tyler Breeze is ready for it. That Hurricanrana. The veteran move by Tyler Breeze. Then nails Sean with that, with the steel steps. Oh, nice counter by Sean. Sean, who's been busted open already, looking to do the same thing to Tyler Breeze. Sean dropping the knee right on the arm. Possibly setting him up for that arm bar again. Oh! Brain Buster connects right on the concrete. I fucking hate this fucking ref. And oh, hip toss DDT on the concrete this time. Dude, just count it right there, you idiot. Like, you see his fucking shoulders are pinned right there. You don't have to go on the other side to see. Either way. Here is your winner, Sean Danielson, giving himself some momentum heading into the Asylum match this Sunday. What a win, what a match to open up this go-home show on Mayhem. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring first, representing the Wolfpack Mafia. He is the head, Anthony Walker. Come on, let's go. And his opponent from Nova Scotia, Canada, he is Raven Dark.
apps for ever since they added back create a entrance like like back in the old 2k games it's like people have just been abusing the fucking <laughs> the pyro and shit I swear Oh, half and half suplex. Who's gonna give themselves some momentum heading into the asylum match? These two had a small rivalry early, or actually a couple months ago, for the Intercontinental title. Trading it back and forth between the two. With the rivalry ending inside hell in a cell with Anthony getting the the victory Oh, nice counter by Anthony. Oh, the move he was going for earlier. <laughs> Got it this time while Anthony was taunting. Oh, DDT. Oh, nice. He's going to go for that rolling stunner. But Anthony has seen that so many times. He freaking just super kicked them in the face. Yeah, exactly. I think there's like one superstar that has like literally pyro on every scene of his entrance. It's like on the stage, while he's on the ramp, as he's getting in the ring, and then while he's in the ring. Say, okay, not even Cody Rhodes has that much pyro. <laughs> and oh, the F5. It's crazy because the F5 used to be Raven Dark's finisher earlier in the season before he changed it. Powerbomb to the concrete. And now goes for the pin. And again, trying to go for the steel steps. I think one spike pile driver on that concrete and Raven would be done.
Oh, big right hand busting open Anthony Walker. Then taunts him right after. Tosses him into the invisible steel railing right there. Oh, black mass from out of nowhere. One, two. Oh, and using his steroid strength. Now this could be it. F5. One. Two. I swear. I have it on normal difficulty, which means one or two finishers should finish the match. And Anthony's done, what, two, three already? And Raven still kicked out. Amazing. Just like in the Fatal Five way last week. Fucking took so many finishers, so many submissions, still somehow survived and won. Next time these two get their hands on each other, we'll be inside the Asylum match. You never know, it could be these two that start the Asylum match. Go for it one more time. F5. Is that going to do it? One, two, three. And it is. Anthony Walker takes down Raven Dark. Gives himself some momentum heading in to the Asylum match this Sunday for the LCW World Heavyweight title. Here is your winner, Anthony Walker. Could be looking at the next LCW world champ right there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring first from Las Vegas, Nevada. She is Amy Rose. Amy Rose and Bell, who will be getting a women's title, tag team title match eventually.
and her opponent representing Lost in the Woods. She is one half of the LCW Women Tag Team Champions. Angel Woods. So last week, Amy Rose took down AJ Woods. She's looking to do the same, looking to take down Angel Woods this week. I believe two weeks ago, Bell took out uh, Angel Woods. I would have had a would have had their tag team title match on this show but Bell's fighting for the women's the women's championship in the co-main event later on and I would do it at the pay-per-view but the card is already booked Sliding German suplex. Love that move. Yo, what up, Jazz? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. How you doing today? Angel Woods with the Irish whip to the outside. Ain't or yeah, Angel Woods. Oh, going for the double axe handle, then walks right into a sledgehammer. Hate this fucking rep. It's good to hear, good to hear. Are you a wrestling fan, Jazz? Oh, what a kick. And, oh, the Blade Runner. Well, it's called the Blade Runner by, what's his name? Jay White. That's what he calls his finisher. Love wrestling? Well, it came to the right place then. I do my own wrestling show on 2K23. Mondays I do Mayhem, obviously, and then I do another show on Fridays called Chaos. And then I do my pay-per-views on Sundays, which is this Sunday is the next pay-per-view called The Asylum. A.K.A. The Elimination Chamber.
Oh, Angel Woods with the a landslide or Michinoku driver, whatever you want to call it. Now Angel Woods taking control of this matchup. I'm going to drop the knee and connects. Hits him with that ripcord knee. And now the ground and pound. Oh, nice counter by the former women's world champ. And into a side slam. You need another female. I have one on the CC, the hashtag Jasmine Perez. All right, I will definitely download her. Oh, what an elbow. Oh, and takes out the legs. And now Amy Rose taking taking back control of this match. She was looking for that figure four. Oh, and I know Angel Woods was <laughs> she knew she was going for it. Great counter into the Blade Runner. And going for the Woods Buster, but another counter by Amy Rose. Oh, and now going for Natural Selection. One, two, woo! Great match between these two. One, two. Amy Rose introducing the steel chair. And Angel Woods introducing the kendo stick. Well, that pretty much backfired for her. What a combination by Angel Woods. And the rising moon. Oh, another knee right to the face. And natural selection this time on the concrete. Is that going to be it? One, two, three. Amy, Amy Rose with the victory. Defeating AJ Woods last week and now Angel Woods this week. Giving her team some momentum heading into their women tag team title match. Here is your winner, Amy Rose. 
What a victory. Well, Jasmine, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. And yeah, I will download your character after the show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring first. From Osaka, Japan, he is Akira Ace. And if you want to go back and watch some of the, uh, some of the past episodes of LCW, just go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Did I spell it wrong again? I swear to God, every time. And his opponent. He is the Wolf Man, Edward Stone. Edward Stone, who's going to be a part of the Mixed Tag Team Tournament. That's going to happen. That's going to start next Monday. He'll be teaming up with his wife, Megan Stone. So there'll be two, two matches and two Mixed Tag matches next week. But we are having a mixed tag match right after this one, just to get everything all set up for the mixed tag team tournament. Nice falcon arrow by Edward Stone and then connecting with that shoulder block. Sling blade by Akira Ace. Big boot connects. Only a one count. Oh, going for the follow-away slam, but Akira Ace with a nice counter. Edward Stone with a counter of his own. Couldn't connect with that right hook. 
And now going for the Kimura lock. Oh, hits him with the Claymore kick. Woo! Tosses him onto the concrete. And now Cure Ace with the sleeper hold. No oh, nice counter into a jawbreaker. And hits him with the Yuranagi. Oh, nice cutter. Is that going to be it? Cure Ace thought he had it right there. And now they're gonna finish off Edward with that with that steel chair. And the hit detection. Horrible. Horrible in this fucking game. Woo! Connects with Sky High. Face, tossing him back into the ring. And tosses him back out. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. That but I knocked out Edwards. Ooh, man. I don't know how he kicked out of that. That was dead straight to his face. And now Cure Ace with that deadly combination. Looking to hand Edward Stone another loss. Again with the hit detection. Horrible. And again with the combination. Akira A is possibly, possibly looking for that frog splash. There it is. One, two, three. Akira Ace gets the victory. Hibajora winner, Akira. Ace. Great victory for Akira Ace. The following contest is a mixed tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first, representing La Familia. He is Antonio Montana.
actually I think I might you know what I will I'll post the brackets for the mixed tag team tournament after the show And his tag team partner, she is Aliyah, who's had a little rivalry with Velvet lately. And I had a little rivalry with Antonio Montana. And their opponents, Joe and Velvet, or actually, the LCW Women's European Champion Velvet, and one half the LCW Tag Team Champions, Local Joe, they are the LWA. Come on, let's go. Okay, the guys start things off here. And Antonio with the leg drop to the back of the head. Almost speared Aaliyah at the same time. Swing blade and basement drop kick. Ooh. And now Antonio tagging in Aaliyah, which means Velvet has to get in. Aaliyah looking to get some payback on Velvet. Velvet with a couple elbows to the gut. Nice counter by Aaliyah. Into a abdominal stretch. Head scissors takedown by Bell. No, 
Oh, and then the big boot. I didn't notice when I like was testing out the mixed tag team matches. It's like the guys don't break up the pinfalls when the girls pin each other. Like they'll come into the ring and like because usually they would just like shout at the referee and it would automatically stop the count. It's like now the guys come into the ring and do nothing. It's like the girls will break up the pin when the guys pin each other. But the guys won't do shit when the girls pin. See? <laughs> so pretty much... For the match to end, I think the girls have to either pin or submit each other. Because if the guys do it, they're going to break it up every time. No oh, jumping DDT. Woo. Oh, what a leg drop. And now tags in Antonio. Close line in the corner. Ooh, single leg drop kick. Oh, belting his head off the turnbuckle. And then... Putting my elbow across the face of him. Oh, what a big boot. And now Val with the abdominal stretch. Aaliyah with the backbreaker. So with that base plant then the drop kick to the back oh rocks right into the local cutter Antonio, who's going to be a part of the Asylum match this Sunday also. Defeating me to, to qualify for the Asylum match. They really do need to get rid of that blocking motion shit. It's like, just kills the momentum, like, every time. Oh, 
Oh, what a block. And now going for the neck breaker. And connects. So the girls break it up, but the guys don't. Another neck breaker. Antonio no sells it. And a power bomb. Hits her with the clothesline. Ooh, what a drop kick. a little preview of of the mixed tag team tournament right here how it's going to be next week another clothesline by Velvet then follows that up with a big boot Bell with the Irish whip. Ooh, big chop. And now the alley -oop. And now I'm setting her up for that loca lock. Or the loca cutter. One, two, Strength of Velvet. Velvet smartly going after her, not letting her get any rest. Ooh. And just laughs at her. I really wish you could take off count outs in mixed tag matches, but you can't. <laughs> okay, Aaliyah. Jesus. Oh, off the LED post. I was like, I ain't going after you like you did with me. And that's another thing they need to fix. Like, she rolled in and then Velvet's like, oh my god. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, Wolfman going for a kick. How is that a counter? <laughs> Selena de la Sol. One, two. Oh, 
Oh, what a hurricanrana. Oh, not this time, buddy. the LCK Ooh, cross body into a pin one two that was close and now the local cutter And Aaliyah breaks it up. Yeah, because uh, Kip up after getting knee to the face and then local cutter. He still has energy to do that. Oh, nice overhand right. Barrel DDT. I just find it very like annoying when whether it's mixed tag matches or just a regular tag match when you get like a hot tag and the partners rolling to the outside recovering and shit. And the chance to have like a two on one opportunity always fucking like gets halted because somehow the guy who's by himself now <laughs> it's like be real, come on. So me and Val win the mixed tag match because of Antonio's stupidity. But the following contest is a fatal four way oh hiccups. Fatal four way match to determine the number one contender for the women's European Championship. Making her way to the ring first from Houston, Texas. She is low London. And her opponent, Mallory Fox. Come on, let's go.
making her way to the ring next. She is the Black Heart, Shannon Mack. It's a big opportunity for Shannon Mack right here. Shannon Mack looking to to get her first crack at the women's European title. And this ain't elimination style either. It's the first fall to a finish. And the last competitor from Atlanta, Georgia, she is Lola Buns. Come on, let's go. Here we go. <clears throat> Winner will face Velvet at the Asylum pay-per-view. <clears throat> Which is going to be on Velvet's birthday too. Could be the two LCW OGs, Lola and Low London, or it could be the two newcomers, Shannon Mack and Mallory Fox. Woo! Big elbow by Mallory. Oh. Coming up after this match, we got Big Amish going one-on-one -on -one with Travis Walker. DDT by Lola. We could possibly get an old rivalry renewed between Lola and Velvet if Lola somehow wins this. Poison Rana by Mallory. Oh, gut buster. This is no DQ, so weapons are allowed. Oof. Good block by Lola. 
Shannon Mack going for the abdominal stretch again. Woo! I love London connecting with that London combo. Shannon Mack on fire right now. Oh, Low London looking to do anything to win this match. Oh, another sledgehammer shot. Fall away slam. Oh, now returning to favor with the sledgehammer shot of her own. One. She's like, okay, back to Lola. <laughs> Irish whip. Oh. Lola all over Mallory on the outside. And oh, manhandle slam. Going for a power bomb. Oh, never mind. Face Buster. Damn, look at the agility of Mallory Fox. Former cheerleader, I might add. And Mallory with a snap suplex. We're looking for the shining wizard. Lola or Low London looking to steal the victory. And oh, the summer so unprettier. Now, single leg Boston Crab. No London right there to break it up. Step my takedown. Woo! Side kick connects. Oh, what a spinning heel kick. Is that going to be it? One. Shannon Mack was <laughs> really selling that move that was put on her. Woo! Rolling stunner. One. Two. Three! Shannon Mack is your number one contender. Big victory. Biggest victory of her career. Now can she take that title from Velvet, the red hot Velvet, this Sunday at the Asylum pay-per-view. Here is your winner and the number one contender for the Women's European Championship, Shannon Mack. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring first. He is the big Amish. Big Amish who defeated the LCW world champion two weeks ago. Almost getting the victory last week against Ray Wolf in a hell of a match. But looking to get a bounce back win against Travis Walker. The man who's going to be getting an Intercontinental title shot this Sunday against Carlos. And you know what? Stipulation added for this match. If Big Amish defeats Travis... Then I will add him to the Intercontinental title match on Sunday. Maybe that will give him some momentum to fight even harder for this match. And his opponent, he is Travis Walker. Here we go. Stipulation has been added if Big Amish defeats Travis Walker right now. He will be added to the Intercontinental title match this Sunday. Woo! And I think Big Amish is using that as momentum because he's freaking on fire right now. I believe this is the first time Travis Walker and Big Amish are fighting each other one on one. Oh, big right hook by the big Amish. And now looking for a weapon under the ring. Brings out the sledgehammer. <laughs> He's like, okay. Yeah, sledgehammer shot to the face and still getting up.
Oh, nice counter by Big Amish. Oh. Again, that's his finisher. How he got it. No clue. He's been getting his ass kicked the entire match. One, two. <laughs> oh, there's a Superman punch. One, two. Barely got his shoulder up. That's why the women referees are the best. Like, she was right there to make the count. Like, didn't fucking run in circles before a count. Although she does that sometimes in the women's matches. Oh! Travis showing off his strength, tossing Big Amish to the outside. And there it is, the perfect 10. One, two, three, and Travis Walker with the win. Keeps his title shot, title match. A one-on-one -on -one match with Carlos. But like I said, like, was getting his ass kicked the entire match but somehow gets a finisher and wins. Don't get it. But here is your winner, Travis Walker. We're looking at the next LCW Intercontinental Champ. This is your co-main event scheduled for one fall and it is for the LCW Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring first from Las Vegas, Nevada. She is Belle. But yeah, Bell's in, Bell's in LCW OG, who's never been LCW Women's Champion or Women's World Champion, I don't think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if she was, like, or way early in, in like, LCW season two or three. I may, I may be thinking of Amy Rose, because Amy Rose was the underdog back then, and then towards the end of, I forgot, I believe it was season two, maybe. Amy Rose ended up winning the women's world title at the end of the season. So I might be thinking of her. So yeah, Bell hasn't won the women's championship yet. But her opponent, she is the LCW women's champion, Isabella Jade.
Introducing the challenger, Bella. And now the reigning, defending LCW Women's Champion, Isabella Jade. Who's going to defend that women's championship against Platinum this Sunday? And Bell with the early offense. What a combination. Bell really wants that title. The title she's never won before. Hopefully this is not a repeat of what happened in the last match where Bell will dominate the entire match and then somehow Isabella will get a finisher and win. Just like what Travis Walker did. Oof. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. Is that going to be it? What? Now Isabella finally gave some offense in. For a second there. Is Bell gonna ring Isabella's bell? And now going for that Black Widow submission. Combo. The disrespect with that. Oh, running knee connects. And now looking to ring her bell. Do we have a new champ? Two. Woo. And now Isabella with some hocus pocus, which is fitting for this month, Halloween season.
Oh, going for the bell lock. Oh, she's got it locked in deep. And Bell's the new champ. Oh my God. You know what? Bell will defend against Platinum. But Isabella deserves her shot. She'll be added to the match. Here is your winner and the new LCW Women's Champion, Bell, winning her first. LCW Women's Championship. And Isabella Jade. The following contest is your main event, and it's scheduled for one fall. That is for the LCW World Championship. Making his way to the ring first is the challenger representing LWA he is one half of the LCW world or LCW tag team champions Ray Wolf And his opponent, he is the LCW World Champion, representing the Wolfpack Mafia. He is OJJ. Introducing the challenger, representing LWA, Ray Wolf.
And now the reigning, defending LCW World Champion, representing the Wolfpack Mafia, O.J. J. Of course, my internet has to start fucking up on the main event. Here we go. Ray Wolf OJJ world, world title on the line. Who's going to walk into the Asylum match as the champ? with a couple of chop blocks or knife edge chops. Almost had a new champ right there. Could Ray do what Bell did? in the co-main event. Right now, it's been all Ray in this match. And Ray going for the full moon lock early. Suplex. And now OJJ with a submission of his own, but too close to the ropes. Oh, nice takedown. And another one. And another suplex. OJJ finally getting some offense in. And Ray with a couple of bitch slaps. DDT. That'll possibly set him up for the for the Wolves Den. Ray who's uh probably no, he's like a three three time LCW world champion. Looking to become a four time LCW world champ.
I know Ray has his finisher because he did the Wolf's Den or the, the Full Moon Lock. Oh, here it comes. The Wolf's Den. Do we have a new champ? One, two, three. Oh, Missy with the frog splash, the wolf splash. And now the Rainmaker. <clears throat> OJJ looking, looking to fly here. <laughs> I swear the hit detection in this game is god awful. Like, Ray wasn't even far from him. He actually connected with the clothesline, but the game just didn't register. Big suplex right there. You guys fight towards the ring, please. So I don't have to pause and control one of you to get back into the ring. Connects with the Yuranagi. Got him in that modified camel clutch. There you go, roll towards the ring. I was getting ready to pause the game to control one of them.
And tosses him back in. There we go, OJJ. And now brings out the ladder. Oh, going for the whippersnapper. But a nice counter by Ray. DDT. That last shot busted him open. Oh, into Guri connects. OJJ smartly rolls to the outside. Oh, chops the leg. And now Ray going for the wolf splash. Do we have a new champ? One, two. Oh, OJJ barely kicked out. I'm fucking serious right now. Nice counter by OJJ. There's the whipper snapper from out of nowhere. One, two, woo. Den. Did he do it? Two, three, and Ray is the new world champ. And we'll walk in to the asylum match as the world heavyweight champ. Bringing more gold to the LWA. Here is your winner and the new LCW World Heavyweight Champion, Ray Wolf. What a way to end this episode of Mayhem. What a go-home show. But the action continues again this Friday for the go-home show for Chaos. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday. Yo, I'm seeing all red. Got my vision blurry from the anger in my head. I'll never be second best. They gon' learn today what it feels to regret.